Buenas noches. In Liliana's Invincible Summer, I, I explored the femicide of Liliana Rivera Garza, my younger sister, which occurred on July 16, 1990. The book includes notes and letters written by Liliana, and I'm gonna be reading a section of one of them tonight. I will add something else at the end. This is the last page of my notebook. Well, the first one from back to front. You know what I mean? Depending on how you look at it, because it is a matter of thinking young. It is a matter of thinking positively, a matter of focus. Don't you like that ad? Oh well, I do. Too bad. I am in such a completely lazy mood, and I'm very sleepy too. And when you suffer from those two conditions, but nevertheless, you also have an aversion to sleep during wake hours, there is this big shock. And do you know what happens? Well, in addition to sleepiness and laziness, a very funny foolishness crops up. That is happening to me right now. So much so that you even feel like sitting down or laying down or kneeling just about anywhere. And then it just so happens that you inevitably start thinking and thinking and you turn to look at the clock on the wall and you think that your mother is going to arrive soon and that you have to pay your school tuition bill and that today you didn't see Angel and you don't like you don't feel like training. You also think that you no, long, no longer want to train because when you are not in a quiet environment, it is impossible for you to develop your concentration and full physical potential. And you think that your exams are almost here, and above all, you worry, but your worry is not big enough for you to get up, grab your notebook, and study, right? Well, Something similar happens when you are like this because it's something exactly like that, huh? And if you don't know how to express what you are thinking, then something happens that seems very strange to you. It is something like wondering if you really are the one who is writing, as if, and suddenly, as if by magic, you remember a dream and as soon as it arrives, it just goes away and you forget it. And you're even more sleepy now and more. And ouch, your back itches, you scratch with fury because it bothers you that you can't scratch comfortably. Jeez, and you wonder why they put so much chlorine in the pool. It makes my skin so very dry. And dryness is not the worst, but what your dry skin gives off itching. So you keep on thinking about the swimming pool and the chlorine, which in addition to the itching, leaves a characteristic smell of the so-called substance whose chemical symbol is CL. And then you remember your chemistry class and something else is as a result, but it is nauseating and you prefer to leave it in peace. Peace. Damn. What if there was peace? What if there were no people starving in the world? What if there was justice? What if people really appreciated other people for who they are and not for what they look like or their image? What if I fell asleep? What if you knew what could become of me? You are never more defenseless than when you are rendered speechless. Who, in that summer of 1990, could have said, with their head held high, with the strength conferred by the conviction of being right and truthful, it was not her fault, nor did it matter where she was or how she dressed. Who, in a world where the word femicide did not exist, the term intimate terrorism did not exist, could have said what I now say without the slightest doubt. The only difference between my sister and me 
is that I never came across a murderer. The only difference between you and her. Thank you.